Now let's zoom in a little bit and do some really, really basic editing. In Premiere Pro, you can click on the end or the start of any clip and you can see the arrow change to the left here or trim to the right. And you can then click and drag in that direction to trim the beginning or click and drag to trim the end of a clip. And that allows you to essentially cut the pieces out that you don't want so that you can actually create a proper edit and you're not just dumping every single clip that you've ever recorded on the same sequence. Again, let's delete those gaps by right clicking and selecting ripple delete and ripple delete. So now we've got a little bit of a shorter edit and just a quicker transition between those two clips. Now, let's say I wanted to insert a new clip at the beginning here. I've changed my mind. I want to start my video with a different clip. You can click and drag to box select all of those clips, click and drag them over to the right hand side to make a gap. And let's grab, for example, the entrance MP4, drag and drop that into our sequence. And hmm, well, it's, it's actually a little bit long. And if I let this go now, it's actually going to override these two clips because, well, I placed it right on top. Let's Control or Command and Z to undo that. Let's grab this entrance MP4 again, drag that into the sequence to the very beginning, and let's hold down Control or Command. You can see these arrows here indicating over to the right hand side, and that means insert this clip and push everything to the right hand side. So let's let go. That looks like the same thing happened, but let's zoom out a little bit. And our clips are still there. They just got pushed over to the right hand side. Let's select this entrance MP4, delete to delete it, right click, let's delete this gap again. Let's do that again. Let's grab this entrance MP4, drag it into our sequence at the very beginning on video track and audio track one, hold down control or command to insert it, let go. And that now inserted this entrance MP4 at the very beginning. Now again, it's a very long clip, so we may wanna click on the end and just pull that to the left to trim it in. And again, right click into the gap and ripple delete. And we've just created a really simple edit. Now with any clips on your timeline, you can actually select them. Let's select this one here, the ceiling clip, press Ctrl or Command and C to copy it. Let's move to a new location so we're not overwriting anything. Press Ctrl or Command and V to insert that clip and so you can duplicate them very easily. Ctrl or Command and X will cut it. And again, Ctrl or Command and V to paste it in. You can also select this clip, Ctrl and X to cut it. Let's come to the beginning and let's press Control Shift and V or Command Shift and V to insert that clip and push everything out. So let's do that. And that now inserted the clip again, Control and Shift or Command and Shift and V to insert that clip and push everything to the right hand side. So again, there's lots and lots of ways to move your clips around and trim them in. And we're going to look at a whole bunch of those a little bit further down the line. Now let's do something slightly different, zoom in. Let's right click on this clip. This is not a gap, but let's just right click on this clip. And in here, you will also find a ripple delete option that will delete this clip and move everything in to collapse that gap. So let's do that. We've now deleted the clip at the beginning, moved everything over to the left hand side, and we're back to about a minute ago. Now let's do one more thing. Let's grab this vineyard.mp4 clip. Let's drag it into our sequence, but let's not override anything and also don't wanna push anything around. Let's instead drag this up to place the video on video layer two and the audio on audio layer two. Let's come forward a little bit. And at this point here, you'll see that we will swap to this vineyard clip because the vineyard clip is on top of all the other videos. So this will show because everything gets rendered top down. The audio, you will hear both of the audio from the original entrance clip and the one from the vineyard. Let me extend this layer just a little bit, make it a little bit bigger. So the video covers up everything that's underneath it and these audios will play together. Over on the left hand side, on every video track, you'll find an eye icon that allows you to toggle the visibility of this track. If I turn this off for the vineyard, this layer here, anything that sits on this track is no longer visible. So we're going to see the entrance MP4 underneath it. Let's undo that and we can see the vineyard again. And at the bottom here, I have M and S switches for all of my audio tracks. M means to mute, don't play that audio back. S means to solo, so this will only play back this track and mute all of the other ones. So if, for example, I have a whole lot of audio tracks, I just want to listen to this one, I can solo this layer and now I will only hear the vineyard. Now that is very noisy, let's unsolo that and solo only the entrance. So I'm just swapping between those two audio clips. And with that, we've created our very first edit. In the next lesson, let's look at a really easy way to deal with very long video clips where you may only want to add small snippets or small pieces of those clips onto your timeline.